How do you calm yourself down before you have to deliver an important speech or give an interview? What's happening is what we call the adrenaline effect, where your adrenaline, it's that hormone that gets secreted from your adrenal gland, which sits right above your kidney. Your body secretes this during fight or flight responses when you feel fearful, excited, stressed, anxious. And what happens is typically your adrenaline levels will spike up at a certain point. And then if you can control it right, it will eventually come down and level out. And this happens very quickly. Usually after the one minute mark, you start to come down. And then here you are around the two minute mark. But it can go the wrong way. And that wrong way happens up here. So this is in your heightened state where you're very sensitive to everything around you. You start to feel anxious. Your palms get sweaty. Your knees start to shake. Your voice begins to tremble. Well, how do you control that? One thing that could happen is you become even more fearful and secrete even more adrenaline, and it brings you up here into the spiraling state. I call this the, oh my gosh, the oh my gosh effect. You want to avoid that at all costs. Instead, what I like to do to come down here is right as I'm starting to sense that I'm feeling this way, you need to be aware of it instantly. Look at your body, wherever it is it's shaking, wherever you're feeling the dry mouth, take a quick sip of water before you begin. Say to yourself the three magic words, and it's all right. And I want you to say, and it's all right, with true acceptance that it is all right. Because if you just say it at a superficial level, you don't let that sink in, you're still going to be here. But I want you to remember when you say, and it's all right, you don't have to say it out loud if you're in front of many people, but you can nod your head. Nod your head in approval by making eye contact with a single person for two seconds, another person for two seconds. Nod your head and smile. Smile. Force it if you need to, but don't force it like this. Force it by creasing your eyes. We call this the Duchenne smile. When you can force yourself to smile like this, you will naturally feel happier. You'll naturally feel more calm. And then you'll be down here. So remember, before you're about to speak in a high stakes scenario, keep in mind of the adrenaline effect and tell yourself, and it's all right smiling and nodding at the people that you're about to speak to. Give that a try. Let me know what you think.